Hey, what's going on everyone? Tone here and welcome back. Today we're going to be continuing my blind Rift Wizard playthrough. We're up to part three. And I gotta say, it's been really cool um, ever since I posted the first video. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of people discussing the game, discussing the videos, um, picking it up and playing it themselves. And I haven't actually been able to partake in all the discussions because I want to remain unspoiled for this. Um, but it's been really cool seeing that and um, pretty exciting. So shout out to everyone on my Discord and other places. I've been talking about it and uh, doing stuff. And I can't wait to, to wrap this up so I can fully join the discussion. Uh, but yeah, we're up to part three, so let's jump right into this. All right, where do we leave off? We just cleared Realm 8. Looks like I already skilled my or spent my skill points. Um, 4350 HP, not bad there. I probably took advantage of this Arcane Circle. I definitely did. It looks like I picked up... Okay, yeah, I remember now. Magic Missile. I was going to grab that and try and upgrade it, but all the upgrades except for Shield Burn were single cost anyway, so I only ended up saving one skill point. Um, and then I bought Siphon Shields as well, because I think on the last floor we had a lot of trouble with some Shield enemies. Um, so now we have quite a bit of shield burn between Siphon Shields and Magic Missile, which should be nice. And I've got my Lightning Bolt, Bread and Butter, Earth Sentinel, Toxic Spores, which hasn't been doing a lot for us. Death, uh, Touch of Death, which is really strong, but quite situational. Might try to get the Raised Vampire upgrade on that. Uh, Death Shock, which has been awesome. I just want more charges out of that. And we need to upgrade the Cascade range for sure. Alright, cool. And resources wise, we have a healing potion. Telly. Main things are the healing potion, and we have two mana potions. I'm noticing that a lot of high level spells do not have a lot of charges. So I don't know if the idea is to get a lot of these spells so that you have a lot of charges spread across a lot of high level, very powerful, um, you know, game affecting spells. Or if you need to have a lot of manage po mana potions to keep them going. Or if you need... I saw a few spells and abilities that you can use to like recharge charges. Usually it's like one. I saw one spell that has one charge and will recharge a full empty spell. Um, and I haven't looked through the full spell list. But I've seen like three things, three or four things that might give you charges back. So I wonder if there's something you can get going with those to, to keep things more sustainable. And actually, when I was looking at those, I, I think there's probably a few, like, combinations that you can kind of exploit. I wouldn't say exploit, but really take advantage of the synergy between a couple of spells and skills that gain your charges back to, like, keep your spells topped off the way you want them. Um, but I don't know if that works well when you already have, like, a ton of different spells, because it, a lot of them recharge spells at random. And you probably just want to recharge like your strongest spells and not waste those on the, the smaller ones. So, I don't know, maybe we'll try and figure out something like that as we keep going. I do want to, we don't have a single skill yet, so I'd like to start getting skills and then maybe some like high level spells. Uh, should be fun to mess with. Um, so we'll figure that out as we go here, but when you're getting three skill points per floor, it's pretty easy to, to stick to low you know, skill costs, skill point cost um, things, but I, I want to try and get some big stuff. Maybe we'll get a few somewhat essential upgrades and go from there and try to get some skills and high level spells. That might be fun. We're only on Realm 8, so there's a lot of skill points left to gain. All right, looks like we actually have four rifts here. I didn't even check what this has before going in. Oh, I didn't do it again. All right, this one increases, uh, we get an upgrade of damage or max charges on a dark or fire spell and two mana potions. I like the mana potions and I like the upgrade. I would I would love to keep upgrading Death Shock and maybe I would go, hang on. I've actually put three damage upgrades on this already. Um, I wouldn't mind upgrading the max charges on that, I think. That'd be pretty cool. And I actually kind of like this layout. I actually like this layout a lot. 
we have a few long corridors and then like from probably like this area everything is pretty close to some teleporters like i could probably zap all of these with lightning from here boss slimes You don't do a lot of poison damage, a lot of HP. 50% chance to gain 6 HP and max HP per turn upon reaching 120 splits into 2 slimes. And these do the same thing at like a lesser rate and less health. Hmm, so you kind of want to kill those early. Like this guy, if we start over here, he might split before he gets to us. I'm guessing when they split, they split back into 2 60 HP things. What are these? Elves. They have shield, low HP, 10 melee damage, range attack, 3 lightning damage, and 12 range. 75% um, resist lightning and 50% resist dark. A lot of our spells are lightning and dark. Oh, I did just pick up magic missile. I have some conjures and I have, you know, touch of death is dark, but it probably doesn't matter for that case. Um, so those aren't great for us. Actually, does Death Shot kill them? It does 17 damage. Ooh, I think I'm just shy. So the monsters, those aren't great for us. Every Although I really like that um, portal otherwise. Oh, and one more thing. What do these portals have in them? A Holy Spell Upgrader. And a sorcery spell circle. Two health potions, though. We haven't needed health potions that much. And that's something new that I haven't really been doing previously, but I think I'm learning enough about the game that I can start considering two rifts ahead like this. Alright, so this one has an arcane circle, health mana potion, fire shield, uh, ravens and mind maggots, and deergars. Um, ravens and mind maggots should be pretty easy to deal with. What are the deer guards? 25 HP. They have a crossbow with 16 range. Yikes. That's longer range than my lightning bolt. And my magic missile. Those guys will be a pain to deal with, I think. I mean, we can use map geometry to make it so that they can only approach us when they're in range, but that's a, another big consideration. I wonder if enemies with range and melee attacks only use their melee attack if they're adjacent. Oh, the crossbow has a cooldown. That's probably where the melee attack comes in. These guys have negative lightning resist. Um, wow, my lightning bolt only does 24 though. <laughs> or I guess 50% lightning resist must mean it does plus one and a half, so they actually only do 18. And they resist dark and physical. Um, hmm. What do we have in here? Wow, lots of upgrades. Or items here. An enchantment spell thing. Arcane and holy spell, range charges, two mana potions. Blood bear. That's a cool looking guy. Um, sounds scary too. Alright, well, I don't really like these Durgars or this... I think the other rift wins out over that one. Here we have... Only kobolds and purple hands, whatever those are. They look like the uh, the Zelda hands drop out of the sky and grab you. Um, another arcane circle. Ooh, a couple of those rift things. Hmm, it would be cool if it should do the symbol of these on the right or something. I guess the UI doesn't really support that. I guess it does support it, but because um, I'm trying to remember what those purple things are. Portal Disruptor. Change the destination of all portals in the current level. So those are pretty strong, I think. Getting two of those would be quite nice. And what is the the egg-looking thing? Hiding. Abo amongst a bunch of uh, tiles of the same color. 25 physical damage. Destroys walls. All tiles. Interesting. Earthquake Orb. Oh yeah, what's the purple hand do? Void flick, 13 arcane damage, randomly teleport the target up to five tiles away. Oh, so he like comes up and flicks you like a paper football or something. 
Kobolds at a 10 range. But this level seems really easy because Kobolds. And it has the two things. One portal. I wonder if these floors are generated so that there is like easier ones with lesser rewards. Cascade range. Although I think just upgrading that with the uh, out in death shock, like straight, gives us as much range as we really want. Interesting. All right, and this one of the same altar type as we were just looking at. Iron imps. What have they got? Oh, lots of lightning and dark resist. Actually, resist all around. False Prophets, Reincarnate when killed. I, I think I really like this first one. Also, the last level's red, which I haven't been a fan of. All right, so let's go in here. All right, how do we want to deal with these dudes? I want to spawn up here somewhere. Thinking about dropping a Earth Sentinel over here. It looks like I just used the Mana Potion. Everything seems to be quite topped off. I think I have to spawn here to do what I want with the Earth Sentinel, which is put it right here so it can attack both of these guys. Well, assuming this one comes towards us and kill the lair. Although if I spawn here, drop that here, and this guy walks towards me, he's gonna get a free hit no matter what. And he has a ranged attack. I think I don't worry about this lair and pop the sentinel like over here to deal with these dudes. And then I just start fighting all this stuff. Green Slimer is 26 HP. All right, yeah, let's do something like that. What's the range on their sentinel? Five. Okay, we have a green slime boss up here too, which we need to worry about. Eight turns, seven turns. I want to do something like this. Oh, shoot. 12 range. Okay, I just got blasted. Um, I only took three damage. I think they shot three times. Attacked my Earth Sentinel twice. Okay, because resist lightning. All right, that's a problem actually. I didn't realize these. I didn't appreciate the range attack on these guys. Um, I was more concerned about the boss slime here. Okay, so where do we want to go from here? There's a line of sight. I should use Siphon Shield soon. I think we want this guy to get in line of sight first, though. We can get some strong lightning bolts. Mm, not really. Kind of want to block these guys with like toxic spores or something. I upgrade this yet? No, I haven't. Everything's too strong. Well, these guys are too strong for Death Shock, I think. Not if I siphon shield them. Hmm. I think siphon shield might be the first move. Probably touch of death this green slime actually. Okay. Okay, siphon shields. Oh, and that gave me their shields. 
Steel shields. Okay, so I just gained two shields and then lost one when they zapped me. Interesting. Now a death shock should kill all three of these guys. Oh, it might not with their resistances, I forgot. Let's find out. Nice, took out the layer two actually. Death shock strong. That guy still has a shield. Can't magic missile him yet. I think I'll kill this guy with magic missile. Huh. So magic missile doesn't have a trajectory. I thought I might be blocked by this. Alright, so I'm gonna touch of death you. Probably gotta deal with this slime layer soon. We magic missile you. Oh, that just killed. Huh. So it burns shield and then deals the damage. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. That's got some utility. I gotta kill the green slime layer. What do I want to use for that? Oh, these guys are just shooting him. They're not actually going into his range. This isn't working. <laughs> I guess I can just magic missile that twice. Do any good like lightning? Oh, that just spit out the slime. Whoops. How come some of these are red? Oh, I picked Sentinel. Yeah, I was supposed to kill this that turn. It has two HP left. How about I use a Death Shock here? Kill everything. Oh, I actually didn't think it was going to kill... Didn't he have 60... HP or something? I'm not sure how Death Shot killed him. Maybe I did more damage than I thought. Okay. Alright, let's take out this lair. I can actually just blast it with Magic Missile twice. If these slimes are growing. I need to go over here and do something. Is that gonna help? I don't think it will. jump to this guy instead of this one. Oh shoot, this guy's coming around now. Oh, I'm gonna take damage. Uh, not no matter what. Let's move up here. Not as good of a position. I think I need to blast these dudes. You have 13 health right now. Poison actually doing all right there for as much as uh, shit talking I've done about it. So I think I just blast you with like magic missile. All right, so I think we can kill all these guys with death touch. I'm not gonna hit this guy first because he might bounce to the green slime. In which case it doesn't hurt these guys. Although if I hit him and it bounces here, then here, then it might not have range to get this guy. 
Now we have range four, that should work. Oh, it didn't. So this guy attacked me, did 11 damage and drained a charge. Range four, the thing was here, one, two, three, four. I wonder why that did not kill him. I just took 11 damage for that, it's annoying. Um, okay. And now I'm gonna take more damage no matter what, because I can't kill both of these things. Let's use Death Shock on you. Okay, Death Shock does kill him. That's weird. It looked like it hit him for a shield, bounced off, and then bounced back to him for the kill. Maybe depleting the shield counts as uh, slaying them for Cascade. It's interesting. Alright, and this guy... Actually, I should have killed him with a Toxic Spore. But now we're down to me using something else, so we can kill him right away. Shoot. <laughs> I was gonna go to Magic Missile and I accidentally double clicked on Siphon Shields, which has no feedback. Because it doesn't it doesn't have a targeter. Oh my god, I just wasted both charges of that I had remaining. That's for, that was dumb. I don't know how I double clicked on it too. <laughs> Instead of clicking on it once. Whatever. Um cool. That was that floor. Um, we used a lot of Death Shock charges, five of them. Other than the two of those I wasted, and then that one mistake where... I don't know if that's a mistake or if the Death Shock is misleading with that Cascade effect. Um, where that Maggot Master bit me. And regardless, we took 11 damage from them. So th I can get three more charges of Death Shock, or I can keep upgrading the damage. One more max charges will be pretty nice there. I really like the idea of like continuously upgrading the damage on that, though. Okay, that has a holy thing. Sorcery. Are there any sorcery spells we want? Oh, I can start upgrading... Touch of Death and Death Shock. I like that actually. Get cheaper upgrades. We can spend three on Touch of Vampirism. One on Cascade Range and two on Improved Damage. Okay, that's where we're going for sure. Let's see what the layout looks like. Not the best layout for us. What do these guys do? Say stun and explode. I can actually get some big cascades with Death Shock here. Alright, this is kind of crazy. Especially if we want to spawn up here usually. Because both the orc layers are up here. I'm going to spawn on top of the circle. Right in the middle of everything. So I can upgrade Death Shock right away. Improve that cascade range from four to nine. And we immediately, oh shoot, I'm gonna take damage from this guy either way, or he's gonna stun me. I forget he explodes when he dies. Three turns of stunned, that's kind of scary. Uh, well, that's what we're uh, into, so. Oh, what are these? I didn't even see the earth trolls. Regenerate 5 HP per turn, disabled on taking fire damage. Oh, that's a cool troll effect. They just hit hard in melee. Okay, well, we're just going to Death Shock you. Oh my god. <laughs> that was amazing. 
Oh, that was so cool. Oh, that's what a teleporter looks like, huh? Nice to find another one of those. Okay. I'm having fun with Best Shock now. We could wipe everything else off the map except for the the boss orc. I wonder if that'll jump through terrain. If I blast... The orc boss. Now he dies of death shock. I can do this. Huh. I didn't hit that. I guess it needs a line of sight. This is only three tiles away, but it's blocked by those. Oh, there's a guy down there, too. Okay. Sun effect. I wonder if that's gonna stop it from spawning. It did stop it from um, incrementing the spawn counter. Oh shoot! These take two turn or two lightning bol bolts. I forgot about that. So, all right, now I gotta walk all the way around to these things. I was trying to line up like a lightning bolt or something. I don't think I did myself any favors because I have to walk back up here and they're just gonna keep spawning things. And also, this guy, I have to use something that kills him in one hit, which fortunately, magic missile does. I have to do the same to you. You guys. Like that. gonna spawn something in one turn. Well, well, now it did. <laughs> Before I moved, it was going to. Cool. Uh, all right. I really like how Death Shock worked on that floor. We're down to one charge. So I'm gonna have to use a mana potion here soon if we want to keep leaning into that. Uh, let's grab everything. Uh, we didn't lose any health that floor. Use a lot of lightning bolt charges. This spell's falling off. I need to like upgrade it. I think. Someone told me to check out channeling. I gotta see what channeling does. But we haven't really upgraded this at all. There's a lot of cool stuff we could probably potentially do with that. What kind of skills we can get here? Wait. Does this not work on skills? Oh, it's sorcery, not arcane. Only one sorcery skill, arc sorcerer. Okay, yeah, I think every spell school has, like, a a max, like, general advancement skill I saw that basically does, like, this one gives you charges, damage, and range. So if you're really focusing on one thing, you can take that and upgrade everything a little bit. Seems like they're a little pricey if you only have one or two spells, but if that's affecting, like, five or six spells, it's probably pretty decent. I don't know, they don't look great to me at first glance. Seven damage is nothing to scoff at. And two max charges and a lot of high-level spells have like one to four charges to begin with is pretty dang good. Adding two range to something's pretty good too. Like that would add two range to Touch of Death, actually, which is pretty damn cool. So I take it all back. Those are pretty cool in general. Um that opens up a lot of stuff for certain spells. 
Um, but what are we going to do? We're going to upgrade Touch of Death, add Touch of Vampirism, see what that's all about, and then finish upgrading Death Shock, get that improved damage at a discount. So that basically saved us three skill points there, which is what we get from a whole floor. So that was value from one of these, finally, because I keep trying to get take advantage of those, and I only end up getting like one or two spells, or it ends up being a trap, and I end up with Toxic Spore, which hasn't been great for me. Alright, I don't know how we're going to manage with only uh, one charge of Death Shock on the next floor. Let's figure it out. We got a circle for fire spells here. I don't think I have a single fire spell. Nope. We could get one. Um, wow, this rift has a ton of monsters in it. Cockatrice. Like a minion upgrader. Neither of these are particularly interesting. Um, like the upgrader or the... We do have minion spells already. That gives you a health thing. That, that's the dragon horn, I think? Where is that thing? Here it is. Yeah, summon friendly dragons on each unoccupied adjacent square. Hmm. All right, so what kind of monsters do we got here? Bat dragons, torrent of bats, freeze a cone of bats, dealing damage and summoning bats on empty ones. Wow. Our death shock is up to forty-five damage now. Cockatrice. Peck. Stone Gaze. Ten turn cooldown. Petrifies target for three turns. Negative Lightning Resist. 12 range on the Stone Gaze. That's scary. Looks like we could clear a lot of this floor with um, our Death Shock again. Dragon Mage. Love that sprite. Uh, 160 HP. Beckon Dragons, 20 turn, cool, turn cooldowns, calls two random dragons up from chasms. A bunch of uh, ball spells. A bunch of resistances. That, that dude is scary. Red Cyclops. SWAT ally, 15 range. Bats an adjacent unit towards an enemy. 15 tiles? Oh my god. Okay. Where are all my spawners at? They're all down here, so I think we want to stick near the spawners. I'm, I'm afraid of what the dragons are like. That's what this dragon mage might end up doing. I'm thinking I'm going to spawn over here somewhere. Maybe I just spawn next to you and touch a death you. Let's do that. I'm about to get petrified though. Oh well. Oh, that killed me. <laughs> so I got stun locked by multiple petrifications. I was wondering how that was going to work. I guess it just keeps stacking. Um, good to know. That makes positioning extremely important with the cockatrice around or other stunning a enemies. Huh. Not sure how I feel about that. I guess I'll have to see how that feels next time I, I play and I'm aware of that. I, I was considering that right as I was placing the guy. That, that was kind of brutal. I mean... It's almost like you can't spend a turn in in view of more than one cockatrice. I guess cockatrice are pretty terrifying in all games. Coming from a net like a well, I play a lot of roguelikes, but net hack was like my first one that I really played like a ton of. 
Hot creases are like super dangerous in there if you don't know how to play around them. Huh. I wonder what the cooldown was on that that ability. Definitely interested to see how that, that plays in the future. Uh, but yeah, that was a highly unfortunate way to die. But, you know, this game was a lot of fun. It would have been, I feel like we were just getting some cool spells and synergies online, but I'm excited to continue checking this out. Um, I'm really curious to see how how balanced all the spells feel once I've like played through like with all of them. And I imagine part of this early access is that they're going to be balancing stuff. And I, I imagine the goal is for everything to be competitive and balanced. Um, I'm also kind of curious to see how it, the replayability feels, but I think this probably does have a pretty good level of replayability with how you get to pick portals and try different spells and, and stuff like that. At the very least, I imagine, the very least, you're going to have enough replayability to want to play through like a bunch of different build types. Which, with all the spells and skills available, is, is quite a bit. Um, but yeah, now that I've like seen some of the spells, I, I see some synergies and some strong things. Like, I really like how the Death Shock was coming along. I might try and build around that again. Um, we had some duds, like the Tusk Spore didn't like, but there's probably some ways to make that good. I didn't even get, I'll end up upgrading it. Um, but the way synergies work, I'm sure there are some great ways to take advantage of stuff like that. So I'm, I'm now that this is over, I'm really excited to join the discussion online and um, see what other people are doing and experiment with things. I, I need to read through all the lists and stuff. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. And it's probably not terrible that I died here so that we could, you know, end this <laughs> a reasonable number of times instead of um, playing this series for eight hours or whatever um but yeah this is a blast so far so i'm i'm excited to dive in and check out more of it well thanks again for watching guys if you want to continue the discussion i highly recommend you join the discord server in the comments below where people have been talking about the game all week since i've been uploading these episodes and i will be joining that myself and i'm excited to see what other people have been strategizing around what skills and, and spells they've been using how far they've been getting and um what has been ending their game like this unfortunate stunlock cockatrice disaster I've gotten myself into. I'm sure there are many more stories like that. And if you like the content, um, please subscribe to the channel. If you have any feedback, I love to hear uh, what you all think. So leave a comment below and like the video if you enjoyed it. But that's it for me. And hopefully I'll get some kind of new series going in the next week or two. Um, I kind of like this shorter stuff and checking out new games. So I might, uh, I don't know. Let me know if you have any ideas for that too. Anything you want to see me check out. Um, but I'll try and get someone up here in the next week or two. I do have a Cogmind and a Brogue stream VOD I want to get up here. It is, uh, there were some entertaining wins in those respective games. Um, two of my favorites for sure. And I will see you all again soon.